Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and out the news in details. If you can't call Dangote Aboki, don't call any other person Aboki, Erufa's wife tell Nigerians. The wife of Cardinal State Governor Manlam Nasa Erufai, a Nigerian literary queen, as Adiza Isma Erufai has called on anyone who cares to listen that no one should be referred to as Aboki. Omo Mrs. Erufai was reacting to Nigerian singer, songwriter Teniola Akbata, simply known as Teni. High comment where she referred to Erika as Omo Higbo while praying for Lekon in a video. Teniola comment generated heat online and a fan evil trending to delete her songs from his phone. Teni, who later deleted the tweet, did not really mean any harm or have any bad intentions for calling Erika Homohigbo. But the comment also bet the Homohigbo has trained on Twitter. Writing to rising to her defense, Lola Okuri said, Tani called Erika Homohigbo, you are getting angry because this is Twitter. Offline people call people offline offline people call people Omohigbo, Aboki Alaja and the rest. And we all live in peace. But once it's Twitter, you all be moving mad and stupidly sensitive because you have 10 million data. The Nigerian writer and founder of Yes Ma Edu Five Foundation, a non profit literary organization, captioning the picture of Dangote, wrote If you can't call this man Aboki, don't call any other person Aboki, Omo Higo, Yamiri, and the rest. So viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take about this? The fact is that uh, it shouldn't be a big deal. That is to me, you know, to me personally, I have no problem with people calling me like people calling names. It is just, a, it is just like a, a nickname. L let's say, for example, people are saying, no more Yoruba, no more Yoruba. It's just the reality. It's just as if, fine, you come from Yoruba land. And that is the reason why people are calling you Omo Yoruba. I see no big thing in that. So I see no reason why uh, a, a, a Rufai's wife can just take like a serious note on this. Fine, they are calling uh, Aboki. Definitely, the reason why they are calling Aboki is just because you are from na you are from the north. And if they say Omo Higbo, you are from Higbo land. And the same thing, the, the same thing is, is if they say Omo Yoruba, you are from Yoruba land. It is just an identity. That's the way I feel about it. That's the way I feel about it. I might be wrong with my own, uh, with my own uh, point. But that is just an identity to me. People were saying that now that one, they pain Edufai's wife, make the thing pay you more. How come the unabated killings in Southern Kaduna never got your attention? Why these unnecessary things is not getting your attention? Things that does not even make sense. This is things that is even reality. Things are going on in, in, in Southern Kaduna. What effort does it do? Do we even hear a voice on social media about the whole problem in Southern Kaduna? And that's just the reality about it. So people were saying that the Southern Kaduna, when your husband they kill, waiting you and your family they call them before and I kill them. Akuya see, Akuya. You know, people were saying that trouble they sleep. Governor's wife. Why does he even have guts to start coming out and start talking about irrelevancy, when so many things is happening in the country, especially in the, in Southern Kaduna, and nothing is being done about it. I think this woman needs to go and sit down and pack away for one corner. What has it done to Southern Kaduna killings? What have it done? What has it done to the draconian judgment on the poor and less privileged in Southern Kaduna under Sharia law? What has it done? Because we all know that Aboki means my friend, Malam means teacher, or Mohigbo means person from Igbo land. And even Omo Yoruba means person from Yoruba land. So what are we now talking about? 
there is no big D in this statement at all. It is a statement of fact. If you are a native of any of those places, they will call you by that name. Except if that person is ashamed of the place that he comes from. So I say no big deal in whatever um, uh, my uh, Herufai's wife is talking about. I think Madame Herufai needs to advise her husband to be just and fair to her Kaduna indigents. Because his present positions and conditions do not even last forever. He should do her favor and save the people, the innocent people in southern Kaduna. Instead of all these unnecessary things that uh, Herufai's wife is talking about. It's not making sense in this. I think Madam Herufai should leave Igbos and Yoruba and the rest alone. We can actually call ourselves any names. It is We just need Madam Herufai and, his, and, and the husband to take charge of their own territory. To settle what is going on in southern Kaduna. To stop the killings and all the insecurity that is going on. That is what we need from her. Because nothing wrong in calling an Igbo man or my Igbo. Nothing wrong in calling a Yoruba man or my Yoruba. And nothing wrong in calling a Boki. A Boki. She should address the serious issue affecting Kaduna State. Another part of this country. Not this unnecessary thing that unnecessary things that is talking about. It's not making any miss any meaning at all. The fact is that whether we like it or not, Aboki is Aboki and everywhere, whether rich or poor, full any person. It is Aboki. That's just the reality about it. I don't think it's making sense at all. Because the reality boils down to the fact that irrespective of tribes, religious, ethnicity, irrespective of political inclination, and in any case, issue reference, we should endeavor to refer to anybody from Nigeria in Nigeria. And we should endeavor, we can, we can refer to anybody, even people that come from Yoruba, it's a Yoruba man from Nigeria, Igbo man from Igbo land in Nigeria. May God help us. You know, people were saying that uh, these people believe so much in this fake country and looking for means of destroying ethnicity. We are from Hackneys. Our native land have been in existence before 1914 amalgamation. And they said, please, someone should help tell me what they call enemies in Awusa. I will stop calling Aboki and start calling them enemy. After all, that is the signal we are getting from the north. May God help us. I think he needs to do the needful. Because Aboki in Arusa language means my friend. So why is he paining them? Why are they saying that it is not right for them to call them such name? So viewers, what do you think? What is your home take? Kindly drop your comment. Add a comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We we'll say God bless you for yet to do so. Kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will definitely be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. Thank you so much for always being there for us at all time. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Stay safe at this crucial time. Bye.